Hi everyone, notes 4.3 are on perimeter and area of 2D shapes. So this is a refresher from um, the math that you learned uh, in elementary school. So the first thing we want to do is find the perimeter and area of the following shapes. So our first shape is a rectangle. So to find the perimeter, all I have to do is add up all my sides. Well, one side that I have here is 6, but I have two sides that are 6. And then I have another side that is 8.5, but they're both 8.5 here. So to find this perimeter, I have two options. I could either do 6 plus 6 plus 8.5 plus 8.5, or I could do 2 times 6 because there's two sets of 6 plus 2 times 8.5 because there's two sets of 8.5. Either way, here, this becomes 12 this becomes 17, and so my full perimeter is 29 feet. And here I get, same thing, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 8.5 is 17, so I end up getting here that my perimeter is 29 feet either way. Now, to find the area, we just have to do the base times the height. The 8.5 is the base, the 6 is the height, so I would do 8.5 times 6 because the formula says base times height. So let's type that into our calculator, and I end up getting 51. So here we can say that our area is equal to 51, but this is feet squared, and we know it's feet squared because it's a two-dimensional figure, and also because this is feet times feet, which is feet squared. And by the way, there is a formula sheet that you can use as you're doing this work. I will be posting it on the classroom so you have access to that formula sheet. So our next shape that we're going to be looking at is a circle. And the formula for a circle is um, for circumference, it's pi d or 2 pi r. And for area, it's pi r squared. So for our circle, let's find the circumference, which is the perimeter. And the formula for that is 2 pi r or pi d. So here, the circumference is going to be 2 pi. And here we know that the r stands for the radius. And the picture here tells us that we have a radius of 4. So I'm going to replace this with 4. And now I'm going to figure out, well, 2 times 4 is 8. So here I get a circumference of 8, but there's a pi there. So now let's go ahead and figure out what this is approximately. So we'll round this to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to type into my calculator, and I want you to use the pi key. Don't type in 3.14 anymore. We're literally going to use the pi key. Um, so I can either type in the word pi which is pi, or I could just press the pi key. Either way, I get 25.1 when I round it to the nearest tenth. So here, our perimeter, or our circumference, is 25.1 feet. Now, we could have also done pi times the diameter. That's what this d stands for right here. And if our perimeter is 4, then our diameter is the full length right here. This is our diameter. So here, I, our diameter would be 8. So this ends up becoming 8 pi. So, same thing, when I plug that into my calculator, I get approximately 25.1. So, we should get the same answer because they're the exact same formula. So, the reason why this here says 2 times r is because 2 radii make 1 diameter. Now let's go ahead and find the formula for the area. And we know the formula for area is pi r squared. So here I'm going to say pi times the r. The radius here is 4. So every time I see an r, I'm going to replace it with 4. So pi times 4 squared. Well, right here, 4 squared is 16. So I get my area is 16 pi. So I'm going to go to my calculator, and I'm going to type in 16 times pi, and I end up getting 50.3 when I round it to the nearest um, tenth. So this is approximately 50.3 feet squared. So we know our area and we know our circumference. In our next example, we want to find the perimeter of our triangle. So the perimeter of the triangle will just be all three of our sides added up together. So we have this red side, the 7.1, we have this blue side, the 6.3, and then we have this purple side, this 9.1. So I'm just going to add 7.1 plus 6.3 plus 9.9. .9. And let's go ahead and type that into our calculator. And I end up getting 23.3. 
So here my perimeter is 23.3 yards. Now, if you notice in the formula sheet, to find the, the perimeter of our triangle, we would just add A plus B plus C, which were given um, those three values in the problem. Now we need to find the area, and the area is base times height divided by two. If you see here, this is our formula base times height divided by two, where this is the base right here, and this is the height. So here we know that our base is 9.9, .9 and that our height is 4.5. So I'm gonna multiply this by 4.5, and then I'm gonna divide that answer by two. Well, let's figure this out. 9.9 .9 times 4.5, 44.55 and then I'm going to divide that by 2 and I get 22.275 and this right here yard squared is my area all right let's take a look at our parallelogram so the perimeter of our parallelogram we're just going to add this 11, this side of 11, plus this side of 11. Um, and because it's a parallelogram, we can automatically assume that this side over here is also 11. And we're gonna add that to this side right here of seven, plus this side right here of also seven. The five has nothing to do with our perimeter at this point in time, so we're not gonna even worry about using that. So to find my perimeter, I have a couple options. I could either do um, two times 11, because we have two sets of 11, plus two times seven, because we have two sets of seven. And so here we would end up getting P equals two times 11 is 22, and then two times seven is 14, and 22 plus 14 is 36. So we could either get 36 kilometers, or our other option is to do 11 plus 11 plus seven plus seven. But if we do it this way, we have still two sets of 11 and two sets of seven. So when I add 11 plus 11, I still get 22. When I add seven plus seven, I still get 14. And the perimeter, when I add those two numbers together, gives me 36 kilometers. And just a heads up, our formula sheet says to add B plus B plus C plus C, or two times B plus C. Now, to find our area, we have to do the base multiplied by the height, and the height has to make a right angle with the base. So our formula for area is base times height, and so we know our base is 11, but our height right here is outside of our triangle, and that's totally fine. So our height right here is five, which means that it's also five right here, so this is our height. So our area right here would be this 11 multiplied by this five. And when you multiply those two values together, you get 55. So our answer here is 55 kilometers squared. All right, people, our last example. So perimeter of a trapezoid. To find the perimeter of the trapezoid, you're just going to need to add up all four sides. So we have the side of 8, 3, 10, and 11. Just add all four of these values together. So 8 plus, 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 10 is 21, plus another 11 is 32. So we know our perimeter is 32. We don't label a unit because we don't have a unit. Now the area of our trapezoid is a little bit trickier. So our formula for area is A plus B times the H divided by 2. So A and B right here are your bases. So here... Our A could be either 11 or 3, so we'll say A is 11 and that B is 3. These are interchangeable because these are your two bases, and we know there are bases because they are parallel to each other. They'll never touch each other. And then I'm going to multiply that by the height, which is this 7 right here. So I know my height is 7. So when I fill in that information, um, we know that A is 11 plus B, which is this three. I'm gonna multiply that by the height, which is the seven, and then I'm gonna divide that whole thing by two. Here, 11 plus three is 14, so we get 14 times seven divided by two, and then 14 times seven is 98. Divide that by two, and I end up getting 49. So we can say the area for this is 49 units squared. We don't have to have the units squared there, um, but it's better if you do have it. And that's it for this question and this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you in class. Bye.